I'm joined by the lovely Miss Golden and the self-proclaimed expert, Rihanna. <laughs> so, are you two DC or Marvel fans? I'm more of a DC fan. I don't care for Marvel. Really? Why? I think DC's better. Marvel's really... It's more childlike, whereas DC's more hardcore, I believe. Are you referring to, like, the comic books or the movies? Movies most definitely. You don't take kids to go see DC movies. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> you can, and you, I was told you had a complicated answer. I have a complicated <laughs> answer. Um, I, I tend to, these days, be more of a fan of Marvel, because um, the person who's kind of in charge right now is Joss Whedon, and uh, he's writer and director. He did a bunch of, like, he did, like, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and mm -hmm. Angel, and a bunch of television shows that I really love, and I totally love Joss Whedon. Um, and so, the direction he's taken things, I really love. Um, back in the day, I watched more, like, the, the old Batman um like in the 90s, the Batman cartoon I was big into watching. So it's not that I don't like DC. Um, sometimes I find DC a little cheesy with their like fake like central city and like these <laughs> fake places that like obviously, you know, this is a place in America. Mm -hmm. It's not, you know, Gotham. It's, it's New York. I mean, we know this. Yeah. So sometimes I get a little irritated with that. But overall, I think probably I would be more of a Marvel girl. Okay, well, both DC and Marvel have a ton of new projects coming up. So now... Let's see, DC has Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice coming out in 2016, but this year there's Avengers Age of Ultron. Which one do you think that you want to see the most? I want to see the Superman vs. Batman movie the most. I mean, we've been waiting forever for a movie with both of them, and then on top of that they have Aquaman and Wonder Woman and some other DC characters that are supposed to be in it as oh, well. Oh, stepping into the same movie? Yeah. Oh, cool. Now, what do you think about the new Batman, though? I don't know. Do you think I mean, he can ever compare to Christian Bale? Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> what about you? Uh, definitely Avengers Age of Ultron. It's going to blow the other one out of the water. The first, like, that remake of the Superman one that came out, like, I, that just bored the tears out of me. I liked it when they were on the uh, other uh, other planet, Krypton. Yeah. The one with Henry Cavill? But, like... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like everything else after that, it was just like, oh, I'm so I can I don't want to watch anything more get blown up. I'm yes. so bored. Mm -hmm. I was actually looking at my watch, which I never do, to see like when I would be done. Um, whereas Avengers is one of my favorite movies of the last five years. Like I love it, and you know it's Joss Whedon again, so it's going to be amazing. And I don't think I'll even actually go to see Batman versus Superman because I was wow. so bored by the first Batman. Oh wow! I know, I know. <laughs> it's kind of sad, but yeah, I like it. All right, what about Captain America Civil War? Do you think that there's room for a Captain America 3? Possibly. But I feel like anything after that, they're just reaching. There's mm -hmm. really not much else you can tell. Yeah. The Captain America story. Yeah. I do. The first Cap movie is one of my favorites, and I really that liked the second favorite. one, too. Um, I really like that character, which I didn't think I would because he's so, like, goody two-shoes. Um, you know, I like the bad boy a little bit better, which is why sometimes I like, you know, the Batman stories. Um, but I, I think it's still going to be great. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to anything with Captain America. Plus, he's pretty hot. <laughs> All right. Justice League. <laughs> You want to see a Justice League movie that's not animated for once and for all? Yes. It's overdue. It's long overdue. Like, I'm personally fed up with looking at the cartoons. Like, they're amazing, but to see it, like, on real life screen, it's just... A little more grown up, like yeah. you were saying. Yeah, I did... Yeah. And the Justice League um, cartoons are really good for being, you know, cartoons. cartoons. I mean, I... I enjoy them, and my three-year-old enjoys them, so it, it kind of runs the gamut for everybody. Um, but, yeah, it's going to be awesome. I, I think it, that'll be a really good thing to, to see. Well, Not as good as Wonder Woman on its own, though. Mm, Wonder Woman, yeah. yes. What do you think about that? It's about time we had a female lead, well, besides, like, Catwoman, but mm -hmm. something other than that. Scarlett Johansson can't be the only female superhero. No, seriously. And, you know, the, the, we've been wanting a Wonder Woman movie for so many years, and they keep saying, like, women yeah. can't, t you know, control the screen, but I think, you know, that I think she would do the really Mockingjay that. or yeah. Hunger Games mm -hmm. movies have pro proven that wrong, you know, we, women have been strong presences on the screen and, and still been box office. And so many of my girlfriends are superhero hits. fans, so I think they'd really love to see something like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. And Wonder Woman's, mm -hmm. like, awesome. Mm-hmm. Come on, bracelets, how can you go wrong? I know, Seriously. 
Now, what do you think about characters like The Flash, Aquaman, Shazam? They don't have the cool names like Superman and Batman, so what do you think? No, I mean, when I wrote the article and I pinned up the movies um, against, uh, like, Marvel movies that come mm -hmm. out around the same time, I kind of went for the Marvel movies because, oh. I mean, even with The Flash, you know, with the TV show, I really still don't think the movie will really outshine compared to Marvel. I don't think it'll do that well. Mm -hmm. um, but for me personally, I like Aquaman. Oh, really? So I'm really looking forward to that one. Mm -hmm. He does get made fun of a lot. Yeah. So, so it'll be interesting to see whether he can pull through that. Yeah, the Thor movie will only, I think, be good because of Loki. Obviously. Oh, Loki is a fabulous character. I mean, he's fantastic. But I, I get kind of bored. Do you? Yes, yeah. I do. Those are my least favorite of the Marvel ones. I still like them. But. I like the Thor movie. I just like his character arc and his hammer. All right, well, thank you for watching. And please tweet us your thoughts at, at Argo Maroon. And thank you, Mr. Hills, for giving us some great suggestions about the questions. Make sure that you read Brianna's article about the superheroes in the next issue of the Maroon.